the hell? Yeah, I don't think that's a good, uh... <laughs> I don't think that's a, a good a changing zone at all. Yeah, let's start with the prologue. Josie the Half-Cat. Oh, so cute. Say the back. It's a plank. Whoa! I can jump! What? In the dark. What? I can run. Nice. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Will find me. Oh, that's cute. Saving. In the bed. I'm sleeping. Oh, I can go back. What? Here's a jump. Ah. <laughs> That's cute. What's this? Well, that's terrifying. New voice message from Dr. Harper. I did this, but I didn't start it. Begin message. Dr. Harper, hello. I got your message. Good luck on your expedition, and don't worry about a thing. Your anomalous child surrogate is in good hands. I know she likes it in your office. I'll just peek in there periodically, and who knows? Maybe I can convince her to expand her horizons. Oh, before I forget, I know you wanted to grab some records from the site archives before leaving, so come by and get my access card if you haven't just snuck in there through the vents like a maniac. <laughs> you volunteered for a field expedition, so there's... Really no <laughs> She's laying down the keyboard. Oh, hang in there. <laughs> oh. oh. Come on. Get up. I can't really, I can't tell what, where am I, where am I going, dude? And yeah, add a drop shower or something. Yeah, it was my to-do list. So. Hey, step on keyboard, go vents. Steal yellow card. Pause on table. Pause on bed. Practice balancing. Push button. I know which card. Get in there. Oh, God damn it! <sighs> I seriously need to make it seem like she's out of fucking leaf. Can't hit anything. Fuck it, I'm gonna go out this door. Whoa! What? <laughs> so that's what that was. That was what was happening earlier. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, I fuck.
Damn it, I can't tell where I'm going. It's isometric bullshit, dude. It's strange that I'm not actually going, not facing where I should face. I'm only moving the head around, it seems like. What's going down only moves the, moves the paws or some shit over the head. My facing down like this, moving up only does that. And it shouldn't do that. Oh, I got it. Finally! She's us. Not on my side there. But for now, if I push it up, it goes to the top left. If I go right, it goes to the top right. Okay, this is a very strange, very strange control scheme here going on. Unless it's just how these games are just played. So why are they just... These... Whoa! What the hell? If these are just pipes and shit, why are some of them broken? Not the D-Class. Nice. Is the the guy with the backpack? But everyone steers clear of him. Hey, don't you don't even try to pet the cat? Just crouch. <laughs> I thought I had to carry it somewhere, so apparently I don't. Oh, where'd we go? He's confused too. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it seemed like. It seemed like the environmental environment changed. There was some knocking or whatever, and the lights came on, but it was still paused. That means there's something going on. Pause menu going on here. Like, he does pause, but apparently the at least it changes in environment. Like, the script that changes environments doesn't get paused. It seems. Lucas knocks stuff off. Ooh, keycard. Nice. Uh-oh. I might, I might be stuck here. I could push it. Okay. That's, that's good. Oh, I thought I was going to be stuck. It's a good thing that was imp implemented. But what's with the dude in the backpack, though? <laughs> My name is looking at a football position where you're just going to tackle someone. To say, what? Oh, it's 131. The iPods. <laughs> Archives. Here we go. So we just go in here. No, it's cool. Hmm. Ooh, another one. We can save here. Wait.
It sounded like chaos outside. That took that took a while. The ground tearing open. Couldn't hear myself think, and then there was a sudden whooshing noise, and then all just stopped. All, all quiet now. Gonna stay here a few more hours just to be sure. And see if there's a way out of here. If I remember my layouts correctly, these vents should open up to the control room. Could maybe do something there. Everything's all busted up. There's probably a hole in the wall I could just climb through. Don't even remember getting this recorder. Don't even know why I'm recording this. Posterity? I guess. There's also this tiny bed. I thought I saw something sleeping in it, but it's, it's gone now, though. Must have been my imagination. Oh god, that's terrifying. Maybe you just shouldn't put that there. MTF. Is that a DR? It's some sort of MTF, and it's, lo it's lovely. No, please, this is already fucking treacherous enough just walking. I have to go through this shit. Okay, there we go. What the hell is this? Yeah, that one researcher came by here today. Uh, the one going on the expedition. Asked us to open up the containment unit for SCP-4158. No idea why. Said she needed something from it. They outranked me and I didn't care enough to question it. What they're about to do, it's probably best not to anyway. You start to pick up on what to question, what not to question, the longer you're here. Anyway, I'm leaving this to you to remind you to close it back. You know the sequence, so just do it before your shift ends. Okay, big Charlie the big cow, never heard of that one before. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh! Okay. The iPod comes up. Also, the the sprinting, the, the sprint doesn't <laughs> typically work all that well. The cat's moving. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Move it slightly, and it and I'll just stop. Why does swing open like that? <laughs> Containment area. Never seen so much damage done to the facility before. I still can't believe how the damn thing tore right through here. This sort of thing doesn't usually happen at Site-17. Hmm. Thank Christ it missed the high-level containment units. Not that we have a lot of those. Well, I guess I should keep this somewhat official. The specimen has been processed and contained after valiant efforts by the on-site containment teams. It is still unknown how it appeared inside the facility, but as far as I know, it still didn't get what it was after. I do know the cleanup crew has their work cut out for them, though. As crazy as this is, this pit feels familiar. Its depths welcoming almost. Hmm. Maybe I should schedule an appointment with the psych. Well, normally just appeared and out of nowhere. Just crushed everything. If only there was a map. Stand clear of doors. Damn. I look uh, top left. See a virtual image of Josie. Nice. New voice message from Dr. Chapel at 8.05 a.m. Begin message. Harper, thanks again for watching Josie while I'm gone with the research team on the expedition into. Th oh, um, probably. Can't say that, can I? Oof. Uh, there's so little we know about this anomaly, and I'm jumping right into its heart. I'm skipping the pan and jumping right into the fire. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> maybe I am crazy. B but it's, it's something I have to do. I have to see it for myself. I'll be with an MTF team at least, a group of highly trained military professionals. Nothing bad ever happens to them, right? The expedition should last a few days, maybe just about a week tops, but I just noticed while I was packing that I'm actually 
low on cat food, so you might have to go get some more if I'm gone longer than that. If you do, be sure to get wet cat food. It doesn't matter the brand, but she will not eat the dry stuff I've tried, believe me. I would get it myself, but I have to meet up with a team like... Oh god, now. I'll reimburse you, okay? Also, make sure she doesn't go into the canteen. She's not allowed in there. You know, after what happened last time. <laughs> so, I was an archivist at one of the larger sites for a long time before coming to the quaint little facility that is Site 17. I thought this new post would be easy peasy, but I can't deal with this. I'm leaving this log for the next archivist. <laughs> this place is an absolute mess. Duplicate entries, missing pages, and all of it organized using some archaic system that I don't believe originated on Earth. Half of these records are constantly contradicting each other, as if they refuse to be sorted. Plenty of this could certainly be digitized, but the higher-ups were adamant that they needed the information to stay on paper. I'm very particular about that, they were. I tried my best to clean it up, but I'm gonna ask for a transfer as soon as I can. Also, these odd sounds are coming through the vents. Someone besides me should probably check on that. Yeah, the, the little dash line ain't doing any papers right now. Oh, I'm stuck. I should actually be stuck. Uh oh. Stuck. This, this one's this one's new. See from from the pipes, from sprinting on the pipes, it seems that any so small little change can just break the sprint. <coughs> Opening doors is pretty uh. Not good. Oh, okay. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Yes. I saw a level three earlier. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Three. The hell is this? Whoa! Oh shit! That's scary. Hmm. All right. Um. Uh, uh, hello. This is Doctor Esther Chapel. I am the scientific liaison on Expedition Three Six Nine Zero into SCP uh, Pending Classification. And will accompany Mobile Task Force Lambda 7, Schrodinger's Cats. Um, I have been told that they specialize in dealing with temporal and quantum abnormalities caused by or primarily related to faunus. So, this should be right up their alley. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder how they get their destinations. Anyway, we are preparing to enter the, for lack of a better word, Maw. And I will be keeping these logs for the record and for my own mental analysis throughout this expedition. This one I will be leaving here as a control. Very important to have a control. Initial tests have concluded the interior to be a technological dead zone, so no further communication will be provided. That's terrifying. Uh, yes, 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 okay. Um, well. <laughs> Here we go. What's moving? What? Whoa!
base. Guess I'm back here again. In the dark. To brightly shine. Brownie. Black. Perfect. Blind. Well, I reached the, ed the edge of that though. Disappeared. That's it, that's, that's, that's supposed to happen. Jersey prologue. Oh, cool. John Murray Parsons. This sounds like a upgrading laser going on here. continued. Hey, yo. Well, that was, uh, fun. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> it is heavy refinements, but, damn. Yeah, that was fun.